think she's done. <laughs> I share a studio with my two dwarf bunnies and she was thirsty right when I started to do this video. So that was nice. But if it's not the bunnies, it's my kids. If it's not my kids, it's something else. So that's just what it is. Anyways, hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have subscribed already. And if you haven't, then I hope you hit that red subscribe button. And I hope that you hit the bell notification so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Today, believe it or not, is December 1st. I can't believe it. What happened to this year? So I am going to be making a Christmas onesie using my PE 800 embroidery machine. I am going to be making it for my gorgeous little niece and I wanted to take you guys along with me. So I will show you all my supplies. I will show you the design and I will show you step by step how I do it. Okay, so this is the design that I'm going to be doing. It says too cute for the naughty list, which I think is adorable. Um, I got it from Boutique Fonts on Etsy for $3. They have a bunch of really cute stuff in their shop. So if you're in the market for some appliques, I would go there. I bought like six different ones when I bought this one. So my supplies, I have my garment right here. This is a six to 12 month onesie from Laughing Giraffe. This isn't necessarily the onesie I would always use to embroider. This is a sublimation onesie, meaning it's 100% polyester. Um, I'm just using this one, one because it's what I have on hand and two, it's better quality than like a Carter's one. It doesn't stretch as much. It's a little thicker. Um, and three, I don't do sublimation onesies anymore, so it's just sitting there. So I wanted to get use out of it. So I have my PE 800. I have my five by seven embroidery machine. I have the three different color threads that I want. I have my basting adhesive to put on the cutaway stabilizer to float the hoop onto the onesie. And then I have my two different size scissors. Oh, and then of course I have my USB with my design already on it and ready to go. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is turn my machine on and I'm gonna wait for it to do its thing while it warms up. And I just press on it and then it says the carriage is gonna move. And then if you hit this little USB icon right here, you can choose from your design. And I know mine is more towards the back, so I'm gonna click on it. Then I'm gonna hit set. And so it shows you the different colors that it's gonna have. And I'm going to move it just to the top, all the way to the top. This is just what I prefer to do because I know how I want to hoop my onesie, so I know that I want it closer to the top and closer to the collar. And then when you like the position of your um, design, you're gonna hit embroidery. And so it tells you um, how long each color is gonna take to stitch, which color is gonna go first, and how long it's gonna take all together up here. So, yeah. So now that's ready to go. So now I'm going to um, show you how I float my onesies. I cut a piece of the cutaway stabilizer to the size that I want it in the hoop. So I'm going to place it on top of the bottom of the stabilizer. And then I'm going to place the inside part of the hoop in. I'm, there is an arrow at the top of the inside of the hoop. My hoop's really messy, so I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it matches the hoop on this side. There's an arrow on the inside of the hoop too. So I'm going to lay this in and press it in. And then I'm going to pull at the sides to make sure the stabilizer is pretty, um, pretty taut. And then I'm going to make sure it's even all the way around. The hoop isn't, um, you know, bulging out somewhere. I'm going to make sure that it's nice and securely in, and then I'm going to tighten it here on the bottom. And then they say that it should sound kind of like a, like a soft drum. So yeah, so now that this is ready to go and I'm going to take my onesie and I'm going to turn it inside out. 
you turn it inside out when you float your onesie on top. Um, sometimes you, you, not sometimes, most of the time, you hoop your onesie in with the stabilizer. I personally prefer to float it. Um, that's just what I do, but you can do it the other way as well. Okay. Move this out of the way for just a second. So now I have my onesie. It is inside out. I have the back facing up, and I'm just fixing the edges to make sure it's even. Because when you fold it over, obviously you want to make sure it's perfectly even. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half like this. Make sure the seams on the top and the armpit meet and are even. I'm gonna make sure the sleeves are even. Make sure this top part is even. Okay, so now my onesie is completely folded in half. Double and triple check that I have it right. Okay, and so now I'm going to scoot that to the side. I'm going to grab my hoop again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my uh, temporary adhesive onto the stabilizer. And then I'm going to put the onesie on. So I'm going to scoop this up and I'm going to spray it out of the way. I don't want it to get all over my stuff. So now I'm going to take the onesie and I'm going to put the center and match it to the center lines that are here on the hoop. So I'm going to take, this is the collar where the front of the neck is, and I'm going to place it right on the center line on the hoop. And then I'm going to make sure it is straight and follows to the center grid line on the bottom. And so I'm gonna press that down and then I'm going to slowly fold it back over. And then I'm just going to press it down. So now what you should have is when you hold it up, it has the back of the shirt facing you, just like when it was laying down before you folded it, because when we put it on the machine, you're going to lift the inside out like this, and it's going to stitch on the front of the shirt like this, inside. So that is how I float my onesies. Okay, so now I am going to put this on the machine. I'm gonna bring this closer to me. I am going to change the thread out. I'm gonna do the green first because it's the first one on the list in the machine. the steps to thread it and I don't know why but I don't like the the threader that's on here so I just manually thread it I feel like it I don't know just it just works a lot smoother for me <laughs> so I just manually do it so now I'm going to put my onesie in the carriage Hook it into the little slots. And I have learned the hard way to double and triple check that none of the garment is folded underneath. There have been a couple times where I've taken it out and the sleeve was sewn to the bottom or something like that. And it's very frustrating. 
after you spend 30 minutes on a garment to find out that it's messed up. <laughs> so I have my garment in here. So now I'm going to take this back side and lift it up. And so basically what you're going to do is you're going to keep your fingers out of the way for sure, but um, just basically hold it while it stitches out the design. Okay, so it is all done embroidering. It even says finish, so now I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna lift my presser foot up. And then I will take it out of the carriage and I will cut all of these strings. So here is the finished product. I think it turned out super cute. I love it and I can't wait to see it on my knees. I think it stitched out great. Um, I will leave a link to this design from Etsy in the description box below. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up and uh, hit that bell notification so that you know every time I post a video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.